Today I'm in western Washington by Elma at the site of the Satsop Nuclear Facility, or what would have been the Satsop Nuclear Facility if it was ever brought to completion. It was built to be around uh, 75 to 78 percent complete. Uh, they have one of the cooling towers is complete, one of the reactor vessels is complete, but the other half of the facility is not. And they stopped construction of it back in the early 90s, but it actually started uh, in the early 70s when they first started doing this project. But because of Three Mile Island and Chernobyl and other things, uh, the public's uh, confidence in nuclear power really waned. And so what happened is, is that they had one of the largest bond defaults. It was around $900 million in bond defaults, and that was back in the early 90s. And so if you adjust that for today's dollars, that's around $2.2 billion in bond defaults for this project. But even though this project isn't producing any power and it isn't being used to what it was originally designed for. It's actually being used for other things, like for training different agencies on different scenarios. Uh, I actually came here with the Seattle Fire Department one year and helped uh, set up uh, an exercise for them, which actually turned the reactor vessel that's over here, uh, made it into like a makeshift uh, below deck area of a naval ship. And so they'd have to go through room by room and check and see if there were any casualties or a radiological threat that they were also looking for as well. And so that was very interesting to see that. And it was extremely intense. They had smoke machines following around these fire crews on generators and just blowing smoke right in their face. And then they also had a PA system that was full tilt with the sound of people screaming for help and all kinds of ship noises. It was very intense. And these guys are troopers, like amazing stuff. They were in full gear, trying to get down there, bringing all this gear down there with chop saws, with cutting torches, you know, checking every room, looking for uh, casualties, which were the trainees, uh, like the new recruits for the fire department. They were the casualties in this case. But it was a very interesting experience. I'm so glad I had the chance to actually go there and see this whole thing operate and to see how they would deal with a radiological threat because it was very uh, interesting to see how they would deal with something like that. And it was very, it was the part of the exercise that was very slow going because as soon as they dealt with it, they can, they know a lot about, you know, uh, how to rescue people, how to get through you know, plate steel doors and, you know, using chop saws and cutting torches and all this other stuff. But it seems like the whole idea of trying to calculate a radiological threat is something that takes a lot of training. And it was one of those things that really slowed up the whole operation. Once they got down into that area, it was something that took them a while to figure out and to safely proceed through that area. But it was very cool because we actually used real uh, radioactive sources that were there to simulate higher sources that might have been more dangerous for them to encounter. And so it was interesting to see them use their, uh, use their Geiger counters to kind of trace out and see where it was safe to proceed through these areas. And so it was a very cool experience and I'm very thankful I got a chance to go there and see this all take place because it was one of, once in a lifetime experience for me personally and I hope you guys and gals enjoy watching this video and learn something about these fire crews and what they train for because it is very impressive what they do. So anyway, hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.
has bad advices with 300 micro rims, identify that location with glow sticks on the ground and continue your search. Are we clear to search the lava? Yeah, you mark the search, mark the search, continue. Mark the search, mark the search, mark the search. I'm sorry, say again. Yes. Yep, okay. Command of the is they stop, they do an adequate uh, radiation survey, and then they create a pathway of safe corridor so that the rest of